Good evening and welcome to the Strawberry Patch. I'm Carol Long and with me this evening is our President and Executive Director, Charlena Eubank. We're going to talk about several things here in just a minute, but I also want to always take time to give a shout out to our sponsors. And we have with us again this year Tenerton Auto mm -hmm. right here in Tenerton. And if you have a need for your car to be inspected or if you have a towing need, um, if you need some work done on your car, call Mr. Jeffries in Tenerton. And the phone number there is 304-472-2174. And they will work you in and take care of your vehicle in, in a good record time. They're very dependable, and we really appreciate their support with the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. And now I will turn my attention to you. We're going to talk a little bit tonight about uh, membership. We're mm -hmm. going to talk a little bit about about the festival schedule, but we had a big event this past yes, we weekend. Did. So would you like to share with the folks what happened? Sure. On Saturday the 20th, this past Saturday, we actually had the Teen and Queen pageants. And before they started, we announced our King-Elect, the Spirit for the 2016 Festival, and also our Hostess Princesses. The Hostess Princesses are chosen from board members, family members, and they're here to help out with the pageant, mm -hmm. help to help festival week to get the new royalty to get to know the community and our festival a little better this year's hostess princesses are morgan grubb and she is the daughter of one of our board members kelly white and then also desiree king who is the great niece of another board member jerry kimball mm -hmm. and our strawberry spirit for 2016 is somebody whose family has been helping us out since the very beginning and he's done everything from help us with floats to be at parade lineup to just be there anytime we needed him. Even on Saturday, he was he's taking ticket. Well, not only that, but he helps lots of times when we don't have enough exact. Uh, work crew. Right. He's a great person. And it's Tom Hupp. And he's from right here in Buchanan. And he was shocked. Yes, he was. <laughs> That's what he was like. He told me, he said, Charlena, I was thinking as they were reading it, well, that sounds like a lot of people. And then when they said floats, he started thinking, well, okay, who's all been helping us on floats over the last few years? And he said, then when you said my name, I still kind of stood there and thought, was it me? And then he said, they said, you better get up there, Tom. He was very deserving. He was. And I'm very happy that he's going to be our 75th spirit winner. Mm -hmm. How about our king? That's what I was getting ready to okay. say. Our, our 2016 king-elect is actually Levi Gay. Levi is from French Creek, and he was our king for two other years in 2000, at 2011, no, sorry, 2010 yeah. and 11. And he has, since when he was his first time, he was in high school. Mm -hmm. He's now graduated. He's went through some continuing education. And he's back in town working on the family farm, growing those strawberries, potatoes, cattle, all kinds of agriculture endeavors. And he's going to be a great king, and I'm very excited. He was involved with FFA, too, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he's very involved. He's a very um, humble king. He is. He's also a lot of fun. A good and king. And he, he keeps the girls on he, their toes. He does. <laughs> and his family gets really involved and kind of, you know, his little sister is showing strawberries this year. And oh, she's going to have some at the auction, uh -huh. or they're hoping. Well, they're both hoping they have some, and she's had some the past three or four years as well. So I'm pretty excited that he's back. And then following those announcements, we started the pageant. And this year, like a lot of other pageants, numbers are low. I mean, things happen. But we had a really good slate of girls, especially in the queen division. In the queen division, we had six girls. And of the six girls, one was um, the girl who just gave up her fair and festival title. And the other girls were all in the top five mm -hmm. or the top t 15, but they all made the top fi mm -hmm. five at fairs and festivals. So we knew it was going to be a fierce competition. But at the end of the night in the Queen Division, our second runner up was Haley Hinchman. And she's from Morgantown, originally from Witchwood. And then the first runner up is Charlie Clayton from Fairmont. And the queen elect is Dominique Collins, and she's from Normantown, and she was our teen queen two years ago. Very nice young lady. Yes. Very and I'm also, it's good to have somebody that she's going to do a good job. She was already knows a little bit about mm -hmm. the festival. She'll do good at promoting, and she's already started that. And then in our teen division, we actually had a lot of newcomers, which is, you always have that in the teen. But our second runner-up in the teen division was actually Sierra Wine, and she's from Somersville. 
And then the first runner-up was Madeline Price, and she's from St. Albans. And the winner is actually from St. Albans. She's a cute little 15-year-old, oh, spunky. Is adorable. Oh, she is. And I'm so happy because she's a teen. You know, she looks like a teenager. She sure does. And, and she seems really nice. I only was. met her just for a few minutes, but yeah. she seems like, I'm going to do a good job. That's right. And, and her name is Kensington Hammock McClure. And she actually likes to go by Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> so we've been already teasing yeah. our teen Kiki. And what's kind of neat about her is she's actually, she was adopted. And when mm-hmm. she was adopted, her mom and dad asked her if she wanted to keep her name or if she wanted to, she chose her name. So now, and she, she told us the other day, she said, you know, I really like the name Kings, Kensington. But now I think it's an awful long name to write on everything. (laughs) So that's what I'm saying. She's just a little cute teenager who just says what she feels. Well, yeah. I, I think they're all going to do a nice I job. I do, too. And we had our junior royalty yes. on Sunday. Sunday. And, and there's a lot of winners. Lovely. <laughs> they're lovely. They're <laughs> lovely. I think if you, if you happen to, I don't know about, I don't get the Intermountain, but I get the Record Delta. Yes. And uh, there they was were a an nice picture. Both, yes. Yeah, there were a lot of pictures in it. And I would say probably the other one yes. as well. And I think even uh, Channel 5 was here. We yes. had a lot of we coverage had, We had on good it. coverage. Yes, we did. And I even today um, got on, and Amanda Hayes always does a really nice job for yes, us. Yes, she does. And today they actually posted from both Teen Queen and Junior Royalty, she posted all the pictures she took. So that way the parents out there, if they mm-hmm. didn't want to mm-hmm. see some of those pictures, and we actually got our disc today from our official photographer, Sam Santilli. So we're right on the ball this <laughs> that, year. That is a that yes. is a blessing, I'll tell you. When, <laughs> and it's when, actually kind of funny. He was looking for us, I guess, on Main Street. And, of course, nobody's there during the day mm-hmm. in our office. So he dropped it off at Laura at the CVB office. So she's got work. it, and it's uploaded on the site. So we're while, while you're talking about the CVB, mm-hmm. I'm going to pull out this picture. Yes. We showed it the other night. But all of you know Mel Hager and mm-hmm. what a go-getter he is. Now, let me see. I've got to there you go. which direction I go, and I want to get the glare off of it. Uh, I think that'll do it right there. This big strawberry is four by four. Mm-hmm. There are two of these. And these will be advertising our membership campaign, which has already been started. It was started at the pageant the other night. Not only do you see these two big strawberries, but there's another one the same size. Mm -hmm. Looks very much like them. And you're going to get to sign your name. The membership is $25. You get a, I don't have my card. I gave it back to Mel. Uh, But there's a green card about this big. Mm -hmm. And you have your name tells you that you're a member of the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. And there's a little tab on the end. And you want to make sure if you buy one of those that you give that tab to whoever is selling you the card because we're going to have a major drawing festival week. We're almost sure, not quite, of what this gift is going to be, but it's going to be a doozy. So you're going to want to become a member. And the reason I wanted to bring it up now is because you can find Mm -hmm. one of these berries will be located at the CVB or Chamber Office right on Main Street. It's right by C.J. Maggie's. And you can stop in there and buy a membership. Now, if you cannot afford a membership and you want to show your support in the festival for five dollars you can sign your name on this big strawberry which will be displayed all through the festival and watch for the second strawberry because it might be in a bank you never know where you're going to see it but we'll have some folks that monitor that as well and so we're hoping that that people will Mm -hmm. get this membership card it goes through till the 31st of December. Then you will get a notice that your dues for membership mm-hmm. are once again uh, asked for, and you can do it from year to year. But this card is something you can keep in your wallet, and you can be a little proud of it. I'm a member of the Strawberry That's Festival, right. and if you're a member, that means your dollars are going to help us That's do right. something. Yes, because we're one of the few events in the state that we try to bring everything to you for free. All kinds of live entertainment Mm -hmm. from Tuesday through Saturday. We have courthouse entertainment going on starting on Thursday. And you can just come out, sit, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, talk to your neighbors that maybe you haven't seen in a year. You've been cooped up all winter. It's a nice time. And we want to, the more money we can raise through sponsorships, 
the better we can bring, the better entertainment, mm-hmm. the better groups we can bring mm-hmm. to you. Um, I had Teresa on last week, and we talked a little bit about the um, events on May the 15th mm-hmm. and May the 14th. Yes. May the 14th is the beginning of the festival, and just go over the major ones for us on the 14th. 14th, we are going to open up with our opening ceremonies, and then and those are at noon. Two o'clock, we're going to have our coronation, followed by a coronation reception, and then a horse and carriage parade at five o'clock. Mm-hmm. And the coronation is going to be at Wesley Chapel, Correct. but where's the reception? It's different. It's, it's actually going to be in the social hall, which, and that's kind of a, right now, I actually talked to Wesleyan again today, because when one of our other board members called to confirm the food today, mm-hmm. they were telling us the high school hadn't reserved the, so uh, they ha- hadn't reserved downstairs yet. Mm-hmm. So, but we still are going to try the social hall because we don't want them to show up late. Well, you know what? That social hall is it's nice. very nice. I'm very excited. And I think it's going to be really special. And there's an elevator. So Correct. it's on the second floor, but you, you have an elevator that mm-hmm. you can travel on. So you shouldn't worry about that. And the horse and carriage yes. at five o'clock. And I believe we have the same sponsors this year. Yes, we do. Ike Morris Chris and Mike Ross. So they're going to be probably riding in yes. the parade summit. Their well, only request is not to be at the end. <laughs> That's what they told me and th- uh, we hope it doesn't rain it was really yes, good last was. year uh, channel three will be filming mm-hmm. that and uh, Rodney's working on some possibilities. We might get to see some of these things live as well. I know. That would be wonderful. So it would be. But if not, we'll we'll get them on as quickly as possible. And we'll bring to you who cannot get out and about, we'll bring the festival in to you. So watch for all the different things that are going to be scheduled that uh, Channel 3 is doing. And on Sunday, there's a major horse and horse and mule um Association will actually do our horse and mule pull, and it will be at Bennett Farm. And then later on that day, we're going to have our gospel sing, and it will be in, and actually in the Virginia Law Center. Mm-hmm. And that will be a first this year. Right. Which I think is going to be a very nice venue for that event. I think so. It's from 2 to 4. Correct. And uh, so we're looking. I don't have the, the groups that are going no. to be there yet, but that's a little early. It is. So uh, we have... The first weekend is getting off with a real good start. Yes. And then on Monday, we're still working on the possibility mm-hmm. of some entertainment. Right. Um, I would still like to see maybe some folks that have special um, talents in yeah. making things, maybe somebody to spin or to do some different, different things, things on Main Street. So that's something we're working on. And Tuesday night, tell us about Tuesday night's event with the high school. Tuesday night, we're actually, it's been a while, but something that used to happen is we used to have a strawberry dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to kind of make it more of like a strawberry, um, like a concert Mm -hmm. this year. We're going to have the show choir, and we're going to have, hopefully, some of the bands there, and it's going to be a dessert concert, and you'll come, you'll have some strawberry dessert, some cakes, I don't know what what all they'll be doing, and you'll kind of have your dessert, and then you'll go in and watch Mm -hmm. a concert. And And they're good. They are very good, and I mean, it's something that, like I said, hasn't happened for a while, but Jeremiah Smallridge, and and he's the choir director at the high school now, and he, of course, performed when Mm -hmm. he was in Mm -hmm. high school as part of this, and it's something we wanted to bring back, especially for the 75th. That's great, and it'll be somewhere 70. Yes, you know. that's 7 o'clock thereabouts. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have something special downtown again on Wednesday evening. Yes, we're going to bring back the cruise in. This will be the third year for our cruise in. And the entry cars will be lining Main Street. And then our vendors actually will start Tuesday evening. So Wednesday. That's one day earlier. Right, because last year they started on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be starting on Tuesday evening. So we're still kind of playing with maybe having something even down there on mm-hmm. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. But on Wednesday evening, we're going to have Ryan, Ryan Kane and the Ables are going to be on that stage to kind of give you a 50s, 60s night in town. Well, that's a different music over 75 yes. years. <laughs> I'm and excited. If, and if you, if you are somebody that does... Um, Oh, swing, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. If you if you know someone that likes to play that kind of music, we'd like that, to have some that of that, great. too. That would be great. Some swing. I, I love the Glenn Miller yes. era. That was you know before my time, but I still like that mm-hmm. music. And there's just a lot of different things, 40s, 50s, 60s, up to now. There's right. a lot of a variety of music that we could be using. And some of that's going to be coming back, I think, in our parade. But, I think so, too. But we won't. No, Give let's, all those secrets away. <laughs> let's wait on those a little bit. So we do have on uh, Wednesday night, and 
we forgot something. We do have the carnival coming. Yes, to we town. do. The carnival opens on Monday. Don't forget yeah. about the carnival. Monday evening, and it's six, usually from six, six to, to 10. ten. It'll be open from six to ten. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is till ten for sure. Possibly eleven. Mm-hmm. We're uh, possibly doing till eleven, and then Friday and Saturday it will open on Friday during the day. At one o'clock, mm-hmm. and then it'll close on. It, it usually closes for about mm-hmm. an hour in the uh, later on the evening, mm-hmm. but then it'll be open till midnight. And then they're here even Sunday. Sun- I'm Sunday not sure from one to five. One to right five. Now. Okay. Uh, so you know. One question that we get all the time, where are you going to put that carnival? There's no place. But we do We fit it, them in. And it's going to be downtown, so yes. you can guarantee that it'll be downtown. We're right. just not sure how it's going to be spread out. That's right. Uh, I like that big Ferris wheel I where do they too. had it last year. It was so. a perfect location, I yeah. thought. I, I think our downtown, um, and, and I have to put a plug in for our city, for our city officials, mm-hmm. for our city crews. They are just so helpful to us in allowing us to do the things we do and then cleaning up. Well, you know, that's what I've always said because every night, you know, we're some of the last people in the street, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the next morning, we're the first people back out. And even on the weekend, on Saturday night, after everything's happened all day Saturday, Sunday morning, 8 o'clock, you go on Main Street. You can't even tell we had a festival. No, it's just as clean as it can be. I really do have to commend them. Well, we, we always want to salute our city yes. crews and and the, the cooperation that we get from yes. our mayor and our city council mm-hmm. and our county commission. Yeah. That, that means an awful lot when you're putting on something of this magnitude. It really does. And I think a lot of people are jealous out there because I'll go to fairs and festivals conference and other communities just don't have the support that we do. Mm-hmm. So we're very fortunate. And another thing that we want to put a plug for is sponsorships. Yes. You know, we are very grateful for all those who do help us with uh, the, the local businesses, mm-hmm. corporations, um, all the big companies. We appreciate their support and sponsorship. And I want to mention something that we don't always put out there. We take in kind comp- Yes, we uh, do contributions so if you can't donate a lot of money but you have some things that we might be able to use and you have plenty of it and can let us right. borrow it or use it then uh, that's that's mm-hmm. another way to be a support to the festival so we've got the memberships going and I can't forget Melody Stemple and yes. her membership hers are friends of the festival and I think she's starting out trying to go along with, with the other one that we're doing right. on the membership campaign. So if you start at twenty five, you can go up to five or six thousand if you yes. want to. And she has various tiers. Uh, and you get some special perks with that as well. Mm-hmm. So um, Melody is in the Development Authority down on Main Street. And our membership campaign, you can get that information right. at the uh, Chamber. So things are, are located where you can be downtown right. and stop in and they'll help you. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got through uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Tell us about Thursday. Well, Thursday, we've always considered that kind of our children's day. We start out that morning, and we have a strawberry blonde contest and a diaper derby, Mm -hmm. which is always a very popular event. (laughs) Yeah, it is. (laughs) And then we continue right through and have some courthouse entertainment going on. And the children's parade that night, our junior royalty parade, Mm -hmm. will start at 630. And following the junior royalty parade, we actually have Strawberry Idol, and we're going to do something a little different this year with Strawberry Mm -hmm. Idol. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Typically, of course, we have our gospel night, a variety night, and then our winners come Mm -hmm. back on. This year, we're going to kind of change it up a little bit. And I'm not sure if she's decided yet whether all the youth's going to be on one night and all the adults on another. I'm not sure about that. But what we're actually going to do is we've had 10 years of Strawberry Idol. This It is amazing. (laughs) And this year will actually be our 11th year. So Mm -hmm. with having 10 years of winners, we're actually going to invite those winners back to compete. For a grand champion. For for a grand champion. that's awesome. (laughs) Awesome prize packages, awesome money, recording things. She's working on great ideas. And Telus will be your sponsor of and that event. They changed. They are to Sprint. To sprint. So we're so we're so not sure Nutella who it'll be. Sprint, but it'll be we're not sure who it'll be at Festival <laughs> Week, but they will be the sponsor. Mm-hmm. And so we'll play around with that, and find, as soon as we know whether it's adults, youth, how she's mixing it up, we'll let you know. Hopefully, it'll be out the first of the month. I'm hoping we're trying to get all those things worked out. So, uh, and there's still entertainment. There going is on. entertainment, and this year, <clears throat> um, one thing that's always very popular is bluegrass. 
So we're going to actually have kind of like a bluegrass show jam down on the stage mm-hmm. that will be in the vendor alley or the vendor midway or whatever you want to call it. Oh, and something <laughs> else that's going to be new this year is our barbecue contest. Oh, yes. That's Don't forget barbecue. It That'll will be. be. That's, night that, that's night that night, too. <laughs> and, and we'll be seeing more things in the newspaper about that and how you can participate. But that's going to be a biggie, I Yes, think. a barbecue eating contest. I don't think I can do. I can't. Do you not want me to sign you up, Carol? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might go and watch. Okay, that, we'll but it's, it's going to be exciting. And there's some who can eat a lot, yes. a lot. Of and that will time. be sponsored by Jaws Barbecue. Jaws Barbecue. Gary Cannell has done a really good job of putting that together, yes. as well as the entertainment down there, and and all the vendors we have. We have to turn them away, and that's well, something every we didn't day used to do. I get emails. From people who want to be vendors. Of course, I send them one to Gary. He immediately responds to him. Sorry, we're full, but we'll keep you on our list Mm -hmm, for next mm -hmm. year. But we've been turning people away the past month, Carol. I mean, it's sad. Well, the one thing. We don't have space. No. (laughs) One thing I will mention, he's very, very flexible with people that are local. Yes. Nonprofit organizations. But you do have to get permission from the place that you're going to set it up. And Correct. you also need to, to have a paper for him so that he will know who's where and if there's a question right. then he can answer it. So we would encourage you and if you want to call you can call our festival office mm-hmm. and we have someone that answers that yes. phone even though we're not always there. 304-472-9036 and tell them what you're interested in, give them your name and phone number, and who you would like to uh, direct your question to, and that will be forwarded on. So we also have something new, and that's our website. Yes, our new website we're hoping should be launching any day now, and it will still be wvstrawberryfestival.com, but we actually applied for a grant through the state, Mm -hmm. a matching um, advertising payment grant, Mm -hmm. and those MAP grants we put out the money, they match the funds. So, and you, it actually has to be for advertising. So we're doing a new website. We're doing some new online magazines, some good outreach things mm-hmm, that'll be mm-hmm. outside our county, mm-hmm. outside our six, seven counties, you know, in our area. Because a lot of times other people want to come. We're mm-hmm. going to hit up Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, everyone who surrounds us, Kentucky, And kind of try to bring those people in to see what small town charm and a great big festival is all about. Well, and we're a family oriented festival for all ages. Um, And and like Charlena said, we try to do things with the least amount of cost as possible. That's exactly right. And it takes dollars to do that. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're through Thursday. Yes. But there may be some other things. Right. We're just hitting some highlights. Well, we one thing new this year is the arts and crafts that the festival does at Wesley and Rockefeller Gym, they're going to be back on Thursday this Which year. Which I'm very so Thursday, excited Friday, about. Friday, and close at noon, I think, on Saturday. Correct. So you'll want to check that out. And I'm not sure, does she still, does Julie still have some openings? She does still have some openings, yes. So if you want to bring something that you would like to showcase and sell at the Arts and Crafts, again, call that festival number, right. 304-472-9036. Direct that question to Julie Caton who is our director for the Arts and Crafts, and uh, she will try to find a spot for you. We also have arts, uh, the arts upstairs with yes. the Arts Alliance. We have the quilt show on the upper mm-hmm. level. So several things going on at Rockefeller. Usually we have an orchestra competition going yes. on on Friday. And that's happening. So we'll yes. start with Friday and tell us what's going to be special that day. Well, Friday we start being a little jam-packed at the courthouse especially mm-hmm. because we've got everything from a Sweetest Berry contest to the Berry Auction. And since we are the Strawberry Festival, we need those berries. Right, right. (laughs) So any growers out there, we need them. (laughs) But we're going to have a berry auction. The CEOs actually have a basket competition. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a basket auction. We're having a recipe contest this year. And just all kinds of excitement going on downtown. You can come walk around, take a look at our windows. We haven't talked about the windows. The windows this year, we're going to still have some collections, but everything is going to be more geared towards over the 75 years, whether it be gowns or pictures or collectibles that have to do with our festival. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm very excited about that because you can kind of take a little walk and have a history Mm -hmm, tour at mm -hmm. the same time. And we we need pictures. We need stories. I'm I'm not going to tell the story, but I got this really neat story from um, a lady the other day, and, and that 
will be matched with right. a picture. Has to do with our first queen, Laura Jean Watson. So uh, watch for that. It's an interesting yes. story. But anything that you might uh, have a story about in regard to the festival, or you have pictures, or you have mementos, gowns, books, anything, anything. you'd like to share with us, and just make sure that you mark them so that you get them back. You can call 304-472-9036. I'm still working on the two windows for our festival right. office and trying to do certain things throughout the 75 years. So you could call me at 304-472-2191. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, LaVera Gillum is yes. working on the windows. She and Joyce Green. Right. So um, if you call the festival office, you can get through to them. So those, and then Fireman's Friday Parade. evening, yeah, we have Fireman's Parade. And the, before the Fireman's Parade, we'll have our strawberry 5k again this year mm -hmm. this will be our second year for that and then we'll have the fireman's parade and then following the fireman's parade they'll give out their awards at the fire station mm -hmm. and we'll have a men's best legs contest <laughs> and an adult strawberry vaughn then we'll have that strawberry idol and main street will remain closed that night as well as saturday mm -hmm. night and we're going to have some additional bands on Main Street and also some of the groups that are going to be in Saturday's Parade. Right. And we have Strawberry Pie. Yes, we do. That was... Stoney's actually this year is going to be sponsoring our Strawberry Pie Eating Contest. They're also going to be selling pies this year. But they're going to be... And we're going to have a Strawberry Pie Eating Contest. You come, you sign up, and we're going to have... 12 to 20 contestants, mm -hmm. depending on oh, how many. Oh, that'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be lots and of fun. And so there's entertainment on Main Street. Right. And again, uh, is that the night the Joseph sisters are yes, going to be on stage? it is. Um, so as we're well just, as um, Cody Wickline is going to be here that okay, night, too. Okay, and the carnival. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have lots of things to do Friday night. I just like to walk from one end of Main I Street to the other because you see the same people at one end, right. and after a while they're talking to somebody different exactly. on the other end. Now let's go through Saturday real quick. Saturday real quick. Well, of course course grand feature parade mm -hmm. for immediately following the grand feature parade we will have our antique tractors and cars go through then the the grand feature mm -hmm. um and following the grand feature those streets will stay closed strawberry idol and the street parties again mm -hmm. and it's just going to be and there's going to be two, a couple different bands going on where the vendors are and then two different new bands come in on the main stages as well as um groups just on mm -hmm. the street and we do also have uh, on saturday morning right at noon don't we have another run Yes, we do. The strawberry run. Hey, so you've got two chances to run in in some running right. capacity. And then on Sunday, we have some special things at yes, the we golf do. tournament. We have a miniature horse show that morning. Mm -hmm. And then that afternoon, we're actually going to have a golf tournament like we've had for a while, the golf scramble. What's going to be neat about it this year is those participants will actually, we're going to have a barbecue inside for them. We're going to have some additional barbecue outside that afternoon. We're going to have a closing ceremonies this year, which will happen about approximately 6.30, mm -hmm. 7, thereabouts. Then at dusk, and then we'll have the closing ceremonies with a band. Okay. And then at dusk, um, you know, we'll say thank you for participating in our 2016 West Virginia Strawberry Festival Diamond Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And we're going to set off some fireworks. Fireworks. And that's at the Country Club. That is at the Country Pinnerton. Club. Yes. So uh, you've got a lot of things. And that's... That doesn't mean there aren't going to be other no, things, These folks. are just these some are highlights. Just some things that we know for sure that's going to happen, and we're working on some other things, some children's activities at Stockton yes. Youth Center. Uh, we'll talk more about mm -hmm. that later. Um, again, I want to, to give you uh, Tennerton Autos number and if you have a need for your car to be repaired or you need a towing service or just have your car inspected call Tennerton Auto here in Tennerton 472-2174 and they will take care of you and they have been taking care of yes. us for the last several years with sponsorship for the strawberry patch any of these sponsors that you see attached to anything yes. if you see them you go shop in their store Tell them how much you appreciate what they do so that you can see what's going on with Strawberry Festival. I think we're out of time. I think we are too, But we'll, we'll come back and talk about some other things. Yes, we will. And uh, keep you abreast of the Strawberry Festival. Again, 304-472-9036 if you need information or www.com. 
WV <laughs> West West Virginia, which is WVStrawberryFestival.com. Right. And uh, so that's about all the time we have yeah. for this evening. Thank you, Charlene. You're welcome. And we've been busy and we'll continue to be busier, but we'll do what we can to bring you the very best Diamond Jubilee we can. That's right. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.